Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much guys for popping into your tarot reading. Today we're going to be looking at what your person is regretting. So we're going to look at what they're thinking and feeling about you, your connection, or the way things went down. So we'll be looking at all aspects, in particular thoughts and feelings. And this can be about someone who's in your life currently or someone who is from the past. We'll see what the cards can reveal. I'll be using the Rider Waite deck here today, um, so don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this content and you'd like to see more, um, and also to hit the subscribe button as well to get updates uh, for when readings are posted for your sign and your element. Um, otherwise, for private readings, please feel free to email me directly, and hopefully we can go ahead and arrange that for you. It is subject to availability, though. Um, otherwise enough blabbing for me let's see what's coming up around this person here aqua what are they regretting about you and about your connection oh wow this is very powerful okay straight away this is someone that is still in love with you aqua you've come up as a star card you've come up as your sign we do have aqua gemini libra that has come up so maybe this is someone under one of those signs um okay they were resistant to a relationship with you or someone was resistant and i feel like this is coming up as a regret here Straight away, I feel like what I'm getting is time, something about there wasn't enough time. So someone is regretting the time that they wasted or they the time that they could have done more for your connection. You guys had something super special, whether you were aware of it or not. This person felt like you were their soulmate or you were their twin flame, that you were their destiny. So this is very powerful in itself. At some point or another, I felt like they had resistance to it. Um, Maybe because they weren't a big believer in these sorts of things, but you've come along in their life, Aqua, and you've you've shaped them. You've left a huge mark or a huge impact, and I feel like they haven't been able to be in a relationship with anyone because they keep comparing that person to you, and you are star quality in their eyes, okay? So this is someone head over heels. This is someone who's failing to move on, struggling to move on at this current time frame. We've got the star card, so this is something about like healing or about fate or about exposure, now, I'm picking up a sense where someone got a little bit carried away and they may be regretting they were too full on in the relationship and maybe scared you away, Aqua, okay? So there's someone here that I feel like if they felt, if they went more easier on you and they didn't sort of pressure you in a connection, you guys would be further than where you are now. So I'm picking up these kind of vibes. Um, I also feel like with the star card, this person regrets not working on themselves. So this is someone with a bit of abuse or trauma they had some issues here aqua they had some issues they know they have these issues they know they had to work on them and i feel a lot of you pointed this out to that person like you said you have too much anxiety about this or you don't realize how jealous you are or um you know you don't realize how selfish you're being it's something you brought to light for this person we've got the sun so you illuminated this flaw on your part to them and they had some sort of opportunity to get it better to get themselves better some of you may have even given them an ultimatum so i think you've you've put it out there aqua and there's someone that didn't do the work they didn't work on themselves and i'm sensing there is a regret because they didn't work on that healing and whether that was mental emotional spiritual whatever they had here they didn't work on it and as a result the justice card didn't let the relationship flourish as it could have you do have the lovers card though and this is the relationship this is the relationship in a whole. Now, um, I get for some of you Aqua, um, Aquarians watching, this person is regretting having been involved in a relationship with you, maybe a romantic or sexual relationship. Um, it's either they move too quickly and they jump the friendship and courtship stage and that's what they're regretting now, um, or it's like regretting having a relationship altogether. But that would contradict, I mean, if they felt you were their destiny, why would they feel regretful that the they would even have a relationship with you. To be honest, you know what I think it is? I feel like someone's still bitter, which means that they still care. The opposite of love isn't anger, it's indifference. And to be indifference means you just don't care. You just don't give, you know, a hoot about what they're doing, who they're with, blah, blah, blah. But if they're still showing anger and resistance, it's because you still provoke an emotional response within them. Someone's still hung up here. 
So I, I, if I'm picking up this bitterness, I'm getting a sense that this person is bitter in a sense like since they've dated you, no one has come close. No one can compare. So now they're like, damn, I should have never have dated them because now I can't find anyone like you, Aqua. Like you're that star person. You're that standout relationship that they had. And they're like, if they didn't get involved with you, they wouldn't know any better. They wouldn't know what they could have had emotionally, um, sexually, intimately. But since you've come along, you've made them rethink what kind of person they want in their life. And like no one seems to be coming close. So I feel like they haven't dealt with those feelings. Justice card is reversed. So could be bad karma. All right. This person may have caused some bad karma. They might have done something out of jealousy, out of haste, whatever it is that's happened here. I feel like the justice card reversed is like bad karma energy. So I feel like they there's something they feel bad about. They did something bad to spite you, to hurt you, to get a jealous reaction from you, but it backfired and it's given them bad karma and now they're sort of sitting with it. I also feel justice card reversed. Someone's not, uh, how do I say this? Someone doesn't feel like a breakup or a separation is final. So I'm picking up maybe someone you're no longer in contact with, but you guys have broken up, but that doesn't seem final. So you haven't really said your final goodbyes or you guys have sort of just like gone in no contact. There hasn't been some sort of like official breakup or like officialness, like maybe some of you guys are separated here. So you're not divorced or, you know, you, you had an argument and you sort of break up from that argument and it was intense and it was spur of the moment. So I'm picking up that, yeah, that has happened. And as a result, they don't feel like it's final. They're not balanced. This is imbalanced. So could this be tied up to the not healing? You know, there's something that they had to work on and they didn't. Seven of Wands, this is, they put up a fight for something here. They regret fighting about something with you. Um, they were trying to protect themselves though. So the reasons they did it was they're trying to protect their ego maybe more than anything. Ones can be ego. Um, they took action about something and they're regretting. I'm getting like, maybe someone keyed your car. Maybe this person deleted your uh, social media accounts. Maybe they leaked some intimate photos of you. I feel like it came from a place of anger. You know, anger makes us do crazy things. And this person let anger drive the bus. Um, and then suddenly their actions were out of anger and out of haste. And I feel like now they're feeling kind of stupid for what they did. But you got to live and learn, right? And I feel like that's what's happening on their end now. Um, I will leave the reading at that though, Aqua. So really appreciate you guys tuning in. Please don't forget to drop a like on this video to see more content. And also to subscribe to the channel to join the YouTube family. Would love to have you on board. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon, guys. So please take care. Lots of love and bye for now.